Hi guys, <coughs> how you doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry about the air conditioner. Uh, next three weeks, <laughs> so as you're watching, I'm sure the air conditioner is going to be on. It is so humid outside here in Michigan that it's hard to breathe when you're outside. So I apologize for the air conditioner. Nothing I can do about it. Can't torture anybody. Today we are making one of our best-selling men's soaps. It is called, or inspired by, um, the song Rock Me Amadeus by the Austrian artist Falco. This song, I know I've made this soap for you guys, like, I think it was, yeah, last, last year, no, 2019 I made it for you. Um, I've made, make this soap at least every three months. I just didn't want you guys to like, you know, have to watch it over and over and over again, but we are completely sold out of it. I should have made it a while back. I didn't realize how low we were. So we're making it today. Um, it is a dupe of Abercrombie and, Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce. And I get the fragrance from Nature's Garden. It's called Ferocious Beast. And that's why my son called it Amadeus because Amadeus was a ferocious beast. So, um, I'm going to do the heat transfer method probably from now on because it just makes more sense for me. It's quicker for me, but I'm not going to make, make you guys watch it. I'll get it, you know, all together, get my liquid oils mixed in, which my liquid oils have my heavy cream and my yogurt in it. And then we'll come back when the soap is completely emulsified and ready to be colored and everything. So I'll see you in, a, in just a few. Are almost emulsified. I'm going to have to stick one some more because I'm the base is going to be titanium dioxide and my two accent colors are tur turquoise and raspberry red. The turquoise and the raspberry red I'll have to do with my frother but it will emulsify. Let me make sure I've got the no need a little bit more than that. Actually I might be able to stick blend them. Although I really don't want a whole bunch of bubbles. <clears throat> Let me get my frother out. You know, I felt like I was like talking really, really fast in the beginning. So if I was, I apologize. Didn't mean to. <laughs> I've been <laughs> so busy, <laughs> like for real. And if you're like, wow, so when you keep doing these men's soaps and men's soaps and men's soaps and men's soaps, well... Truly, it is because we are selling out of men's scents so quickly, it is not even funny. Um, you know, as you may not know if you're new, but we carry <clears throat> anywhere from 32 to 36 men's scents at any given time. Uh, my son, who is one of my business partners, absolutely insisted that we have a huge choice for men. And I agree, because men need great skin care, too. So we have a ton of different men's soaps, and, you know, we switch it up at different shows and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, men are some of our best customers, which is incredible to me. All right, let me get my titanium dioxide in here. And by the way, this fragrance is awesome to work with. Hold on one second. Let's clean time enough love this fragrance this fragrance is awesome i think although i think hotel california has surpassed it in sales as far as that goes which speaking of i know you guys just saw hotel Cal me make hotel california and i've already had to make another loaf of it don't worry i'm not gonna make you watch it <laughs> all right some fragrance in here some fragrance in here some fragrance in here and we'll put the rest of it in there there we go. Yeah, it doesn't rice. It doesn't discolor. It's a, it's a strong fragrance. And this 34 ounces of oils, I only, oh my God, how can I smell from here? I only put um, an ounce in it because it is a, a very strong scent. So I used to use a color called French Silk Stockings as my pink in this. And it was like, perfect for the soap it was so beautiful but after time it discolors to a tan and yeah 
you know, because I have my showroom and usually I keep my windows open. This is going to be a drop swirl, so I'm going to go ahead and take my spatulas out. Um, and the, the sun shines in on that and I don't know if it's the contact with the sun or if it's just the color itself or what, but it does. It, the French silk stockings turns into a beige. Okay, so here's our mold. I think I'm going to have to angle you guys down some. Okay, so I'm going to pour my white in. See how fluid that made it? Makes it very, very fluid. And I fill it about halfway up. Oops, just got it all over my mold. Okay, here goes my raspberry red. And I do save some for the top. And my turquoise. Okay, here we go. Up high, guys. I used more color this time than I usually do. You know how I can tell? Because there's a lot of color on the top. <laughs> Usually this is a mostly white bar with just a little bit. But, you know, gotta switch it up sometimes. Yeah, that loaf I made with you guys back in 2019, I was very, very, very... Oh, not 2019, I'm sorry. Maybe it was last year. Gosh, the days are running by, like, for real. Um, anyway, the loaf that I made before, I was talking about that French silk stockings and how disappointed I was that it, uh, I'm going to bang, bang this, that it changed color on us. And it's way too liquidy for me to put the rest of this on top of it. So I'm going to put you guys on pause, do my dishes, and we'll do the top together. The tops of these, or this, these. I probably should have made two. I think I mentioned when we were making Hotel California that I should have made two. I don't remember. It's been a few days. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, it's been... Um, <laughs> I haven't even cut it yet, and it's been like six days. I've been so busy. Um, I keep taking soaps out of the mold and then immediately... Uh, washing the molds and filling them back up. I have to get uh, cracking on those and cutting them. Um, my husband and one of his buddies made me a multi-bar cutter, but he's got to string it. I got to, you know, get on him to do that. I can show it to you. Um, let me just design this top and I can show it to you really quick. It's kind of cool. I like it. I bought the strings for it and the strings came because we had those you know, sent from Amazon. Hold on one second, gotta bang it. Okay. And that's not tight enough. I don't like that. Not tight enough. Actually, let's go like this. I like that better. There we go. All right. Okay. Let me spray this with some some alcohol. Uh oh. My alcohol bottle keeps coming apart. I need to get a new one. All righty. So there we go. Let me put this up over here, and I'll be right back. I'll show you my cutter. See? Yay! I have a a multi bar cutter. Got, uh, it's good enough for my 10 piece loaves. Um, there's only three strings on it, which are definitely not in tune. But once he strings it, I'm gonna start using it. It will be much easier for me. So I'm definitely, there's a name on it too. I can't remember what they named it. Oh, they named it the three month cure cutter. Because what, let's <laughs> tell you a story. What happened was, um, my husband was like, on me, on me, on me. Make a loaf of soap because we're doing the cutter. Make a loaf of soap because we're doing the cutter. So I make him this loaf of soap. And he tells me, well, we're not going to finish the cutter today. And I'm like, what? So I wrapped the soap up 
in plastic wrap just to keep it, you know, as much air out of it as possible so it wouldn't be rock freaking hard. And it took them three months to finish it, so that's why this cutter is named Three Month Cure Cutter. <laughs> it's because the Lopez soap had been uh, slightly curing for three months. Okay, guys, we'll see you in 18 to 24 hours to cut this. Not sure if it's going to be with this or if it's going to be with my single bar, but we'll find out. All right, see you then. Help if I put my glasses on before I cut this beautiful Amadeus. Oh, and get the last of my last, my last soap I cut off of my wire. That would be good, too. Okay, so I'm going to cut Amadeus. And it telling you soda ash is not my friend these days but I don't know gotta do what you gotta do before I package it oh look I got a green blob blue <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what I think that looks like <laughs> OMG, Sulin, what is the matter with you? Stop it. How gorgeous that is. Oh, you know, it's really sad that I can't use that other color. That, oop, there goes my ring light. That uh, French silk stockings. It was the perfect pink, I'm telling you. But I like the raspberry red with the, with the turquoise. I think it does look good. I mean, Red and blue are complementary colors, so, you know, with them being versions of the two. And, of course, turquoise is on the um, cool side of the blue spectrum. And this raspberry red is also on the cool side of the spectrum. They do, they look fantastic together, so. Because the French silk stockings was on the warm spectrum of the red side. So, didn't have those nice, beautiful, cool tones to it, like this does. So, alrighty, I, I love being able to just do this so it's like, it's like, wham, bam, let's go, and we're done, you know. The problem is, is I have to leave it sitting on my stove for about an hour, so it sets up before I take it in my soap room. So... It does. It stays pretty liquidy for a while, as you can see. I mean, a simple drop swirl, and that was, that was it. So how's everybody's week going? Mine is going good. Just like I said, still busy. Oh, look, I got a little heart. Got a heart. I love it when I get hearts. So cute. Ooh, what is wrong with me? I think I'm standing too close to my ring light, guys. <laughs> I am so clumsy. I am like the clumsy of clumsy. If clumsy had a sister, I'd be the one that was like, you know, I don't know, <laughs> with her shoelaces tied together. Oh, in my family, we call it being a fournier. That was my mother's maiden name. And it's like everybody who was a fournier was clumsy. So, it's like my granddaughter Ava. She can't walk across the room without tripping on a piece of lint. <laughs> She's so bruised up on her legs and stuff, you would think we beat her. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, did I tell you? I don't know if I told you guys this, that my grandson is shown a huge interest in making soap. I don't know if I told you guys that yet. I really don't know. So, you guys are going to see... Because uh, I talked to Lauren about it, and she said, you know, as long as you keep him safe like you did Kiki, which of course I will, that uh, he can make soap with me. Because he has made plenty of designs for me watching the Beatles' Yellow Submarine. I'm not sure which one of those designs he's going to pick, because some of them are very unrealistic, y'all. Like, <laughs> very unrealistic, like, you know... Having a realistic blue meanie inside the soap, yeah, not, that's not happening. But I think, you know, one of his favorite songs from that movie is Hey Bulldog, so I don't know, we'll see what comes of that. So, you know, I, I, sh I should have thought of that, like, 
you know, maybe I should find like, oh, I don't know, like a pendant or something that has a bulldog on it and then I could make a mold of it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, so I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for sticking around. Bye-bye.